Hey guys, I'm AJ Cannon, Oak Grove Worship. Um, I'm going to show you this real quick uh, technique. It's really easy. Um, it's just this little ambient thing I've been doing lately on a lot of songs that you might do in place of a swell or maybe like tremolo picking or something. Um, and it's, it's really cool and it actually takes up a lot more space than you would think. Um, so I'm just going to show you the technique real quick. I use my second stage drive, which is the Sparkle Drive by Voodoo Lab. If you don't know what my pedal board looks like, I'm not going to go into that right now. Just go check out uh, my gear walkthrough on my, on my channel, and it'll show you everything about my pedal board, my amp, and my guitars, and everything. Um, anyway, Sparkle Drive Voodoo Lab to get sustain and get more volume out of it. You could also use a compression pedal. I don't use one. Um, but that's how I get more sustain and more volume because this is a really quiet thing. You need that to uh, boost your volume. Then um, I'll, I'll usually leave my uh, primary delay on, which is the TC Electronic Nova delay, just whatever setting I have going. It's not, it's not going to muddy up and it's not going to make it any worse when I add in my secondary delay, which is the Ibanez Echo Shifter. It's a pitch shifting delay echo. Um, which it's got modulation on it. I'm also going to show you how, can, how you can use an oscillation setting. Um, and then I use side two, which is the shift side of my Cloud9 uh, reverb by Sky Pedals, which uh, I've got the reverb mix up really high where it gives it that ambient sound. And sometimes I use the POG, uh, the octave generator, to add a little bit to it. And I'll show you how I would do that too. But I'm just going to show you no POG, We've got uh, second stage drive, primary delay, secondary delay, and reverb. And all I'm going to do, we're going to do this in the key of D, um, is form a D chord up here, but I, real high. So this is the same as a D chord down here. It's just an octave up. Um, and then instead of putting my third finger on the B string, I'm just going to take my first finger on my other hand and just let it ring like this and let the pedals kind of do the work. You can hear that just kind of ringing, real ambient type of noise. And uh, it's it's really cool and it doesn't, it keeps your feet free, like where you don't, where you can be stepping on pedals and getting ready for the next song or, or, or uh, for the next part of the song. You can be ready to turn something off or turn something on depending um, with because you're not swelling like you would be with a volume pedal if you were doing swells. Um, and it doesn't take up a lot of room in the mix. It adds to it. It adds that high end to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't muddy it up. It doesn't add too much to it. It lets the keys player or the, or the pad or whatever it may be, the bass player, do their thing and fill up all that space, and you just ring it out at the top. Um, and it, I, like I said, it adds a lot to it. You wouldn't think it does, but it, it really does um, without adding too much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play a pad uh, that we would that we might have going. I'm gonna well actually I'm gonna do uh, "God with Us" by uh, Jesus Culture. If you haven't heard it, it's a really great song. Um, but first, I'll just show you what it would sound like with that pad going, and I would show you how it kind of transitioned to this part in that song. So let me get this pad turned up a little bit in the key of D, of course. And so with that pad going, and then you start ringing it out. And you could, you could swell into this if you wanted to. Um, but I like to let my finger kind of hit those, those other two notes that I'm getting with my first finger and pinky on my left hand and just bounce back and forth between them. If that works. Now that's your one chord. If it doesn't happen to work with what you're doing to be adding those other notes in there with it, uh, then you can mute these and just have your one note going. And you could play it low. If you want to do that and uh, you can experiment with different uh, chord forms as well you know whether it be uh, or in D so here's your D chord you could get something like that you could play it all all over the place um, 
So uh, now I'm going to show you uh, going from there's a, a break and then the bridge on God with it. So I'm going to show you how I would transition from those parts. So the break is big, uh, and I had I do have the pog on this uh, playing this this lead line. I'll show you how I do that. <laughs> See what I like is just how it, it just I slide I slide up to this note and then that note is the one that remains ringing out after I turn the effects on after I start ringing it. So it really transitions really smooth. It sustains all the way out and down into that almost pad like sound. Um, and then actually the next part of that song when the full band comes out on the bridge, it kind of drops really hard. Um, I end up playing this high D chord up here. So the song says, where there was death, you brought life, Lord. I'll show you how that, how I play that part on the guitar and how I'm going to actually use the oscillation on my echo shifter to transition to those parts. So I'm here. And then when we're going to go into the big part, turn the oscillation on, control the feedback. The next part there on the uh, on the bridge on the, where there was death you wrote life or when it gets big I go to that part and I didn't really do that perfect on the oscillation um, but you turn that oscillation on what that does is just repeats endlessly and I can reach with my foot or I can bend down and give it with my hand is a little easier I haven't perfected it yet um, but control either the feedback or the mix on my delay to kind of swell that that oscillation up and then right as it gets to that peak, just shut it off and hit that chord. So I'll show you that one more time. Got the pad in there. Turn the oscillation off. It's really nice if you've got a pedal you can kind of control with your foot. Had the feedback a little high on that, and now I bumped it down too far. So start ringing. Well, it helps if you get the delay out. Okay, so I'm ringing this out. And then when it starts going to the to the big part, oscillation on. And at that point, I can stop playing because it's going to oscillate. Really cool way to train to lift it up into the next part of that song. Um, this video has been way longer than I was planning on it to be. But that's one way you can use uh, another way you can use your effects and uh, really do some cool stuff ambiently without just doing swells or getting stuck doing kind of stuff like that. Uh, and to do that, you need maybe an overdrive or a compression pedal if you want, um, and then some type of delay, digital analog doesn't matter, just some type of delay that can get you a long delay type. Modulation helps. The oscillation is just a bonus. And then uh, a reverb really helps on it. So just get the level boosted up there. And you, I mean, if I just had this with uh, just the overdrive on, it's still, still, I mean, it's there. It's not like something that you need the delay to help it ring out. You can keep it going as long as you want with your hand. And your feet are free to step on pedals. So pretty cool. Uh, thanks for watching. If there's something else y'all want to see, let me know.